case you guys didn't know it, I like silent cases. This is the Silencio 652S from Cooler Master. We also did a build in this one. We've been doing lots of, we did like four builds in silent in, in silent cases in the last like month. Um, the system that you're, I'm actually using right now to capture this is in uh, this case because I want silence in the studio before you can hear all that buzzing and humming and the fans and all that nonsense. Well, now you can't hear anything because I'm using the, the, the Silencio uh, 652S. So let's go ahead and uh, first off talk about the the fans. They've got the uh, Silencio FP120 fans in the front. I guess they're just dustproof, which which is going to help. The life expectancy on these is 160,000 hours, so that's pretty snazzy. Now they say that that they're 11 plus or minus one decibel as far as the the noise go. As far as the uh, speed goes. They're up to 1200 uh, RPM, but they can ramp all the way down to 200 RPM. And they are capable of pushing um, 38 cubic feet per minute. Uh, they are only three, uh, three pin. They're not, you know, PW, PWM fans, so that's kind of eh, whatever. Uh, and then above that, there are three five and a quarter base. So you can mount whatever you want there. Right, let's take a look at the top. I like what they've done here. We've got a couple USB 3, a couple USB 2. We see that on most things, mic and headphone. And then we also have a high-speed USB 3 SD card reader. So this thing is going to be really handy to have in the studio. We can just take our SD cards and uh, dump them straight into the computer. A lot of the motherboards we're using have multiple USB 3 uh, headers, so it's pretty cool, man. But you can pop the top off. There's a huge removable dust cover at the top. I think a lot of people are not going to need that because they're going to use the top for exhaust or they're going to do like I did and just fan in the front, fan in the back, and have a wind tunnel going through and keep it nice and silent. Uh, speaking of dust covers, if you look at the bottom, we have a couple of different dust covers, one in the middle and then one in the back where your power supply is going to be. All right, let's talk about all the different fan options because that's one of the things that I thought was pretty crazy with this. Now on the top, you can fit a 180 or a 200 millimeter fan, or you can fit 120, 140 millimeter fan. Uh, you can fit two of those, fit radiators up there if you like. In the front, uh, it already comes with, with two of the uh, Silencio, um, uh, the FP Silencio fans that are 120, 120 millimeter. Uh, then in the rear, there's one Silencio FP fan, another run 20 mounted back there. Okay, on the side, like on the side panel, right? There's a cover, you can remove the cover, then you can mount a 180 or a uh, 200 millimeter fan right there on the side. I like those large fans because they move a lot of air and uh, typically large fans are slightly quieter. On the bottom, you can mount a 120 or a 180. So a lot of room there for activities. I thought it was going to be like a 120 or a 140. No, no, 180. Now, I mentioned that this is a nice wide case, so let's go ahead and cover the dimensions now. Uh, front to back, 508.6 millimeters. Side to side, 20, or 220 millimeters. And then top to bottom, 507 millimeters. All right, let's take off the side panel and get a good look at uh, what is going on on the inside. First thing you notice, there are there's there's plenty of uh, different hard drive bays, and you can also move the bracket around uh, to allow you to you know install a bunch of two and a half inch drives or several three and a half inch drives. You can take the bracket, slide it in a little bit, or slide it out, or you can remove it completely and just use the trays on the, the you know the bottom of the case there. If you're only going to be using a few hard drives, I'd probably do that to allow the air to flow through. But if you want to mount lots and lots of hard drives. Um, you can you can totally go for it, man. If you wanted to go crazy, you can mount 10 two and a half inch drives in here. There's uh, you know seven also in, seven in the cages, right? And then you can fit uh, one under right underneath the optical disc drive um, trays. There's a spot where you can screw one in, in right there. So if you want to do that, uh, then you can put one behind the motherboard tray and one at the bottom. As far as the three and a half inch um, uh, drive base, you can fit nine of them in there, and if, you know you can mix and match the. This is like if you're just doing three and a half inch nine. All right, so uh, what can you fit in here as far as your uh, graphics cards go? You can fit a 423 millimeter, uh, that's 16.6 inch graphics card in here, and then the CPU cooler height 168 millimeters, and that's 6.6 .6 inches. This is a very full featured uh, large case. It's uh, not, not terribly heavy. It's 22.9 pounds, which is 10.4 kilograms. I, I guess the only thing I didn't love about this is you can tell they cut a couple corners here and there to keep the price low. I like how nice and quiet it is. Uh, the hard drive trays, even though they, um, they're, they're plastic, I've seen some of the metal ones out there on the market. They, they feel more sturdy. I like the fact that you can adjust this and slide it and open it and close it. So it's a different approach, uh, not necessarily negative but it probably could have been um, made it i guess more dampened against sound and vibration as far as the uh, the cooling goes in the front we do have a vent along the side because the front is all like sealed off um, when everything gets ramped up like you know if i'm stress testing the system to 100 percent if you lean down you can kind of hear the air going in there so it sounds like it's pulling air in there pretty uh, pretty decently if you're overclocking and that sort of thing uh doing a lot of overclocking it may start to get warm in there you may have to put some of the larger fans in there. And I think that's why they've 
given us all these options with the large fans. And as far as the inside go, we have, you know, everything seems to be pretty standard these days. Decent amount of room to mount your motherboard. Uh, then there's grommeted areas on the bottom and the sides so that you can run all your cables without having, you know, a, a huge mess. A decent sized cutout there for installing different, uh, you know, heat sinks and that sort of thing. So all in all, I'm very pleased with the case. Um, I'm using a Xeon in the system that we built with it. I kind of wish I'd gone with a K part just so I could try out a little bit of overclocking and, and, and I wanted to see how hot it was going to get on the inside. But right now, nothing I'm doing is, is making it incredibly hot and I'm just using the stock fan configuration. Got an air cooler in there too, so... Decent system, and again, we're going to be doing a build on that, so you'll see a build video uh, featuring this case very soon. But I wanted to take just a second and talk about what we're going to be using here in the studio for our capture rig, and also some, some editing will be done on this machine as well. So subscribe to this channel. This is the hardware channel. If you do not, um, I'm going to come and uh, I'll fill your bed with cottage cheese. You'll wake up in the morning and you'll reach for your comforter and you'll just grab a handful of cottage cheese. That's what's going to happen if you do not subscribe. So all people who love cottage cheese are not going to subscribe now.